What's up guys? Today I want to show you these three amazing tips that will definitely improve your workflow in class and let's get started. try to create your own EDB project in class in I'm pretty sure you know how much time does it take to find a proper picture remove the background load it to your project then place it in the right position so let me show you how I used to do that before first of all I want to pay attention to the second step removing the background and to be honest I've spent many hours trying to find the most effective way to do that and finally I figured out that it works better when you just try to separate it manually. But yeah, sometimes you have to do some extra work. <laughs> and if you have from 5 to 10 pictures, it's okay, but if you have 50 or 100 pictures, it becomes quite annoying. Here comes my first tip. Okay, open your browser and type remove.bg. Then you need to find your picture. I have it somewhere here. Just drag and drop it to the main window and yeah, you need to wait. ta -da! We got our pirate without any background and it's truly amazing. Here you can do some extra stuff like zoom in and zoom out, can erase some stuff or maybe you can restore it back if you need it. But anyway, I think it's the best website for this kind of purpose. You can only imagine how much time it saved me. If you didn't know this trick before, I think it's the right time to start to use it. The second tip I want to share with you is more about the way how can you easier place objects and pictures in your EDB file. So I want to talk about rotation. Before I used to rotate objects in different apps, but recently I've realized that there is a special hotkey that helps you to rotate objects right in class in. All right, I have this lovely bird right here, so let's try to rotate it. Press and hold command button if you're using Mac OS and control button if you're using Windows and then place your mouse exactly in the corner of the picture. So you will see this arrow sign that shows rotation. Keep holding command button and click to this point and after that keep holding your mouse button. Move your mouse up and down to rotate it. As you can see it's very easy and allows you to do a lot of interesting stuff. Let me show you what could you do. Choose the right head for this boy. Add some salt to your vegetable salad. Or make this guy happy. I hope this tip will become a time saver for you and you will start to use class in more efficient. As you see, the first two tips are basically related to the process of creating your own EDB file, but sometimes you need to make some changes during your online class and some functions are unfortunately disabled. So here comes the creativity. If it's not the first time you work in classing, you should know that all images and pictures are placed as layers. And as you can see, this girl is in the front of guitar and hat. But as you know, you can hit and hold the command key if you're using Mac OS and control key if you're using Windows and click on the image or picture. And here you have these different options. You can bring it forward, send it backward, bring it to front and send to back. So let's bring these two images to the front. It's very easy to do it, but the main problem is that you can do it before the class, but if you're in the class already, you can't use this feature and command button or control button will not work in that case. So the solution is to hit and hold command button and then click on the image and drag it. This combination will copy this image and automatically bring it to the front and that's exactly what we need. It also works well when you are in a class and you suddenly realize that you need several objects in your class but you have only one object prepared in your EDB file. So you can take a look how does it work in this example with a candle. We just hold command button or control button 
and copy this candle as many times as we want during the class and then can easily position them on the top of this cake. All right, guys, so I really hope it was useful for you. And if you didn't know these tips before, the whole process of using class in will become so much easier for you. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button because soon I'll post more videos about class in and the way how can you improve your workflow. Have a great day and see you soon. I want to drown inside this. I, I, I want to drown inside this. Go down and I, like, I, I, cap. I, I, I ain't never had a vibe that's vibrant. Then we're all so shiny with our three eye vision. Take this moment, I'ma die inside it. I am pariah, I am Mariah. Words they carry, don't trust the silence.